Hey guys, let's talk about the calves today. Um, a lot of times we go into calves and obviously we've got the, the machines that you can come up and, and do your calf raises with weight coming down your shoulders. But then you see a lot of machines and a lot of people doing calf raises like this where they're sitting down. Locking their, their, their thighs in and bringing the weight up like this. Sure, we got 90 pounds on this thing, but is it really working part of the calves that we want to work? Well, let me tell you a little bit about the anatomy of the calves themselves. We have two muscles that make up that calf complex. We have the soleus, which is going to be the ones that we, the, the muscles that we use when we go for long walks, things of that nature. And then we have the gastrocnemius. That's more of a type 2 muscle. It's going to be responsible for the power movements that we do, the jumping, the sprinting, all the sports that we play. Well, what happens in the seated calf raise is that you've already taken it out of play the gastrocnemius because that has started working at the knee. Okay? So with the, with the seated calf raise, we're activating the soleus, which really doesn't need to be activated at all because we're always up and walking around all the time anyways. So what we can really do instead is go to a standing calf raise and hit our gastric that way instead of sitting down and really targeting a muscle that doesn't need to be targeted. There's no point in targeting a type 1 muscle with heavy, heavy weight because it's always under tension as we're walking around throughout the course of the day anyways. So next time you want to think about doing your calves or working your calves or anything like that, try doing it the other way with your legs locked out, knees straight instead of knees bent. Now we're working with the gastric, the muscle that we want to work, and that will get you feeling a lot better and get your calves actually a lot stronger in the right muscles themselves.